Hello, here I am. This is Adrian, I am the Adrenalinic One, and I am again playing Fire Emblem Three Houses this morning. Usually, uh, okay. Hold on just a second, I actually need to fix this. What I was gonna say is I... There we go. That's what we want to see. I think. Yep. That's the scene we want. Anyway. Um, usually we would be playing Persona 5 this morning, Laura and I, but she had a lot. Uh, she had a lot of, um, stuff to do yesterday at her event. And she was on her feet all day, and running around, and helping out, and she just didn't get, didn't get home until about 8 o'clock last night. Um had to wake up at 5 in the morning and was there since 8.30 yesterday morning. So she's in bed, she's resting. Um, so I'm playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, part 13 of my Iron Man hard classic Black Eagles run. Um, we may still be playing Persona 5 later today, but for now she is just going to be in bed. So yeah. I'm going to continue with one of the harder fights in the game. Um, one of the scarier fights in the game. It doesn't look like a lot when you initially go into it, but it's what happens later that makes it so difficult and so scary. Oh, thank god, next door neighbour has finally stopped mowing his lawn. I swear, every Sunday morning, like clockwork, it's either the guy down the road, the guy next door on this side, or the guy next door on this side one of them is always doing their lawn, if not more than one of them. Okay, so we didn't need any certifications. Edelgard's good forever. Hubert's good forever. Ferdinand needs some more armor rank before I'm willing to have him attempt it. But he's alright as a paladin for now anyway. Linhart's good forever, so is Caspar. Dorothy is a dancer, she could become a mortal savant if I wanted her to. That's kind of funny. She could also become a Grimmery. Um, I think I prefer her as a dancer though. So, Mercedes is the bishop she was always meant to be. Uh, Lysithia, I think I might just keep her as a warlock, honestly. Um, Yuri could become either a sniper or a swordmaster. That he can just straight up become a sword master here. Um, I think in this map though, it's going to be better that he's an assassin because they are unaffected by terrain um, and there's a lot of bushes and stuff coming up. He could also pass a sniper exam once I get his bow rank up to A as well. He has a 100% chance of being both a sniper or a sword master. So, yeah. Just enlightened one, of course, and I think that's as good as we can get. I think we're just gonna have to go into protecting Garrig Mark. Oh boy, suggested level 31. This is gonna be a tough one. And I fear for my soldiers' lives. Perhaps not Edelgard's. And she does have the Aurora shield and is super tanky. But the others? Hmm. <sighs> I'm really nervous about this fight. Can I stress how nervous I am with this fight? Making sure my phone was on silent. How are you, Alice? Are you stressed? You alright? Okay. So we have our Death Knight. We have our Dancer. We do not want our Gremory, uh, sorry, our Warlock on the front line. Get back here, Lysithia. Yuritsa's good to have on the front line. 
And I think these guys are all right here. Yeah. Ferdinand is a good defender. There are lots of swords, lots of axes, um, high Shamir, with your five range. Oh, this sucks. Seal movement. So she has bow fair, and she has bow range plus three. She can shoot us from five squares away. That is crazy. Which means even if she shoots at maximum range, she'll still have... What? 85 or 65 base hit, which admittedly isn't a lot, and then you've got to take into account the... But still... 40 decks. No wonder she's got so many. She's got so much luck as well. Lots and lots of decks. Five range. I'm scared of Shamir. I probably should have recruited her. Oh, and we have Aloise to deal with as well. 66 attack with the Axe of Zoltan. However, the Axe of Zoltan is droppable. So yeah, we have lots of axes over there to deal with. A few swords. Not too many lances. So... Ferdinand, I think I want to give you Swordbreaker. Yep. Uh, Deathblow's good. Weight's good. I feel like he's gonna need... a bit more survivability this fight. I'm gonna be using mostly lances as opposed to axes. So let's just make sure his inventory reflects that. Well, he does have Iron Lance. He does have Killer Lance. Is Can I give him a Silver Lance? I think giving him a Silver Lance would be a good idea. So I'll store this Iron Axe here. Yuritsa doesn't need the Silver Lance Plus. He has the Scythe of Serial. And he can use the Spear of Assault, too. Oh, I would love to be able to give Ferdinand the Spear of Assault, actually. Because, um, it works with his crest. Unfortunately, he's not A-rank Lancers yet. Which is a bit of a shame. Yuritsa, Silver Sword. I want to give, yeah, I want to give Ferdinand the Silver Lance Plus. Um, but he may need a hammer. Um, no, I think... I'll just go with what he's got now. Oh. How much does the Silver Lance Plus weigh? 9. Ferdinand's strength is 31, so he's only weighed down by 6. That's not that bad. Yeah, okay, so he can have a Silver Lance. He has a Brave Lance for when he can't double enemies, which is good. Um... Abilities. Yuritsa, of course, has Axe Breaker and Sword Breaker because he's a legend. Hubert. Need of Guard. Does she even need the weight minus three anymore? I think it still benefits her to hold on to. She doesn't even need the Iron Axe anymore, does she, though? Like, if I look at the Iron Axe's weight seven. 10. She's currently negating 9 points of weight. Honestly, she doesn't really need... Well, the Iron Axe is for accuracy, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Iron Axe for accuracy. Caspar has Lance Breaker. I don't know how handy that's gonna be, but... Yep. 
Dorothea with her axe break though. Yuri with Axe Breaker, for sure. And I think just Marianne being an adjutant is a good play. Alright, well. I don't think there's any map... Oh, there's no, there's no chests here. It's just defend Garrig Mark. We have to... Oh, and then here we go. Big Man himself. Seteth with the Ocane Shield. A sacred shield linked to the Crest of Keyhole. Yep, makes sense. Um, I want the Ocane Shield. I just, I don't have anyone who can steal it. Unless I put Yuri back to being a thief, then maybe he can steal the Ocane Shield. It will give him a bit of a stat nerf, but it might be worth it. If I go back down to Thief, he loses some stats. Nothing really of consequence, though. And if he can steal the Okane Shield, then I think it's worth it. Alright, so on that note, let's see if there are stealables from anyone else. Not Shimia. No. So I would literally just be trying to steal the Okane shield. Alright. Well, hopefully the game actually lets me steal it, otherwise I'll have given Yuri time in the Thief class for no reason. Still, it's not like he took a strength hit or anything. Mercedes, do not... Do not want you there at all. Um, that's a good spot for you, I think. Yeah. Alright. Let's go for it. Do not allow them to capture a protected location. So we have to deal with that. And we also have to deal with a surprise later. Well, I think it might be better to have Mercedes... Oh no, that's a Falcon Knight up there. Oh, it's just a Pegasus Knight. That's an assassin, though. Yeah, if Mercedes goes here, she is vulnerable to that Pegasus Knight. So, what I'll just have her do is blow up this uh, little wall here. Okay. The frozen lance with the training lance. It's always a good idea. Okay. And Caspar, can you lure anyone in? Oh, the Pegasus Knight. Let's see... Wait, he has Lance Breaker, doesn't he? Yes, he has Lance Breaker. Okay. But how fast is he? Attack 22. Attack 24. That's good. I'm happy about this. I didn't give him Axe Prowess, did I? No, but that's okay. He uh, has a uh, Lance Breaker, so... go. The assassin still can't reach anyone. He's gonna do 
potentially 20 damage, but Mercedes can just heal that right off. Um. Hmm. Right. Yuri. Not very much damage against this hero. Silver Bow does a lot. Brave Bow does a lot, but it has to hit every shot. Although, I'm not really that worried about killing. Because that's why I have Ferdinand here. Ferdinand can do the job quite easily. Just looking at the stats. 34 hit on me. 36 hit on me. 32 hit on me. So the Silver Lance is the best weapon to use. And this guy only needs to take 16 damage. Which Yuri will happily deal. He might even crit. Nice useful crest activation there. Oh, if he does that, he actually runs back out of the archer's range. That's cool. So, we'll go Silver Lance. The hero does get vantage, though. But that's okay. He only had 32 hit. I was willing to take the risk. Yeah, heroes just get vantage by default. Into the thicket. I think into the thicket is a good plan. Yep. So now we... Oh, okay, well... We take out this assassin, if we can. Kinda wishing I hadn't moved Lysithia back that far now. She could have really helped there. He started up his mower again, damn. Yep, Aurora shield equipped. That's good. The only problem... Yeah, I think this guy... Oh, he doesn't even have, um, Axe Breaker. He's just really good. I could try to smash with the Iron Axe. She'll only take six damage back if this doesn't work. I think it's worth the shot. And she crit. Oh wow, she actually didn't level strength. That's okay, more defense is good, more speed is good. Okay. Let's see, oh, right, it's just the, um, the barricades that she can attack. I'd rather also have her not do that. But there is something else I need to do that I've completely forgotten until now. And that is use Dance of the Goddess. Sorry. Yes, Dance of the Goddess. So now these guys all have a uh, blessing. We don't want to move too far up too fast, though. A lot of danger in doing that. Oof. Good hit. Nope. Okay. Shamir and Eloise are preparing a fire attack. Defeat them quickly to foil their plans. That's the hard part of this map. It's so difficult. Ouch. 
Hubert, can you miasma this fool, please? Caspar, can you beat this guy up? You can. Hmm. Show off. Okay. Mercedes can get a bit more centralized. The real problem is... I can't move my troops too far ahead. I'm scared. <laughs> I've gone and forgotten where the line is. I think this is okay to do. Yeah, hopefully you don't. You do have a blessing active, though, so that will certainly help. Look at this lady's range. It's ridiculous. There's a point you can't go past without triggering the reinforcements, and I'm a bit iffy about wanting to do it. Hmm. I wish I could remember where it is. I feel like Lysithia is in danger. I'm gonna get her out of it. This should be okay. I don't want to move everyone up too far too fast. This will do. There they are. Okay. Alright, so... There's a, yeah, there's a wave of reinforcements that show up and it's like, they're like, hello, how you doing? So, Edelgard is super tanky. I think she'll be okay. If I do this, I think she'll be alright. problem here is that this hero is standing in a thicket. There's no way she can reliably take him out. Hmm. This is tricky. That will bring in Shamir. Although I doubt she'll be able to hit Yuri. are a lot of other people gunning for Yuri right now, though. Um... My problem is that I need to put Lysithia back here so she can hit this guy. But then this guy is going to be able to hit her where she is. I could always dance for her. I think... I think that works. Ah, 
Um, but then Dorothea's still in range of someone. Oh, it's just him. Oh no, it's her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then attack. Yeah, so... So, that's not valid. Can't do it that way. I think that hero might just have to be kept alive for now. And I'll have Caspar go where Dorothea is now. Cool. Dorothy could dance, but then she would still just be in range of uh, this archer, I think. Yeah, okay, so it's that archer that is going to give Dorothy a woes. She'll have to equip just the training sword or some kind of magic. Thoron does prevent her from getting doubled, and it allows her to retaliate. So I do like that. Yeah, I think... I think that's okay. Yeah, Thoron will allow her to retaliate. Actually, actually I don't know, I just... What is her protection? 12. What does this guy want to do? 39. So if he hits her, it'll be 27. He might only be... If he's the only one that can hit her... Yeah, he, he will be the only one that can hit her. So she'll take 27 damage, which is a significant amount, but she can at least counter. And... So 15 attack speed, 17 attack speed, yep. He doesn't have, like, a random darting blow, does he? No? Okay. Alright, so we'll go, we'll go here with Thoron, the Goddess Ring. Draw in that archer. He still wants to go for Edelgard. It's like he hasn't realised she has a, um, a shield equipped. Edelgard could go one, two, three... Oh, but then she's going to be taking a lot of hits. 34 protection, 44 attack. Um, so I think I'm just going to have her come here. She might be able to... Might be able to take this guy out. It's not reliable at all. Neither is that. Although she would only need to hit two. I think it's not a bad idea. She only needs to hit two. Odds are in her favour. There we go. That's about how I expected it to go. Hit, miss, hit. Oh, now they want to go for Yuritsa. Kind of funny. So, Mercedes only has four move. I think having Edelgard go here. Oh no, here is fine. Here is absolutely fine. Because Mercedes can walk next to her, trade her Brave Axe off. And heal. I feel like I need to leave these guys here. I'm really heckin' worried. Okay, Linhart. If you go here with wind... Oh, you can actually kill this warrior. 
I think that's worth. Such a fast boy. Outspeeding warriors. Protection, res, magical attack. Hit. Nice. This is such a good battalion for him. Because it works with both of his combat strategies. <sighs> if Yuritsa goes here, he's going to get targeted by a hella amount of people. He could take out the hero. And he does have a blessing. Glowing Ember. The Iron Lance gives him... Oh, okay, well... May as well just use the Iron Lance then, hey. I think he doesn't take a significant amount of damage enough to be afraid of anyone in particular. I'll just double check the, the Warlock. What have you got? 34 damage with Bolganun. Okay, so that's 10 damage. 27 protect. 39, so 12, 12, 12, 24. 34. So yeah, he's only going to take 34 damage. 49 if he gets hit by this. But that's okay because we have others who can heal. I think. Uh, actually no, both of my both of my long range healers have already gone. Still, he lives. And I think I'm going to use the Scythe of Serial. Yeah, I think he lives no matter what. Ah! He did get hit. Well, that gives him extra protection. Useful. That gets him murdered by everyone. Well, alright, well, I mean, he's just gonna have to wait there. Okay. So Ferdinand has a hammer, but he can't reach. Yuri could go here. He draws the ire of Shamir, if he does. There's no way he does, like, any meaningful damage to... Yeah. Nah, it's, it's not worth not worth trying to kill this guy. Uh, if I go here? Oh, he's not in range of anyone. Neat. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave it at this. Well, Yuri can come up here. <laughs> Dead eye this guy for eight. No, there's no point. Just chill, and we'll see what happens. Okay, he's going for Linhart. Nice miss. Couldn't even attack Yuritsa. Good job. Okay, so... Well, we need to put... Look, the fact of the matter is we need to put someone in range of Shamir. And it's probably going to be Yuritsa.
just chill here in the forest. Alright. We'll have Lysithia. Bonk this guy. Yes. Thank you, Dorothy. That draws in Shamir. I'd rather have her attack Yuritsa. Okay. This works? Oh, it was Marianne helping. Thirty strength, good. Thanks, Yuri. Oh, it's still only twenty-one. She has thirty-four crit, though. He can't die, that's the thing. Which is great. I'm really glad that he can't die. Does Yuri still have the Armor Slayer? He does not. I might see if I can get the Armor Slayer. Uh, I'll put the Brave Bow away. There we go. Equip the Wadel just for avoid, even though he's not being targeted. Okay. I think this is safe. Yep. <laughs> Sweet as. Yeah, Shamir's still going. She only has a 14% chance to hit, though. Yeah, so she's going to shoot from, like, five away. And he's in the thicket. She hasn't got a hope. <sighs> Should have recruited her, but, you know... So yeah, the special dance increases luck, speed, and dex. Well, she will go for Ferdinand then. Um, am I okay with Ferdinand facing a bunch of... No. No, no I'm not. Even though he does have a hammer. Their hit rate is not amazing. He has got 64 avoid. Oh, he'll only have 48 avoid. He doesn't have axe prowess on. I do want to move him up, though. So he can go there. Now we just have Edelgard to move. Could be a juicy target for Shamir. But no. She can go here. She had 12 crit. 14 hit though. And she shot from so far away. <laughs> That's the wildest thing about this. She has 34 protection, right? So, 44... 47? Oh, he has a battalion. Okay. Onslaught. 
21 charm against 37 charm though. Yuritsa can do this. I feel like Edelgard doing it though is a lot more a lot more symbolic. I'm sorry, Shimia. Yeah, I have doubts about that. The reason I have doubts about that is because I have a Yuri. Oh, wow, he doesn't even kill with the Armor Slayer. You know what? This is a good excuse to use out- a good excuse to try out the Wodal. He could get, like, multiple crits against all these guys and soften them all up. That said, this guy does have Gambit, so... Going here, attacking with Thunder. Oh, still not going to be. Oh my god, he double crit. <laughs> that guy should not be dead, but I'm so glad he is. Because he had a battalion. Wow, that was amazing. The only issue is that now he's going to get targeted by Wyvern Lords. Although he does have Blessing. That'll hurt a lot if he gets hit. I need to minimize the chance of getting hit. Hold on. Wasn't that seven before? Like, didn't he have a lot more strength just then? Oh, is it his... No? I could have sworn he did a lot more damage. Still only a 19% chance to hit. Hmm. Linhart cannot from there. Okay. What's up? Lost anybody so far? Oh, hey, Poe Boy Fresh. Um, no, not on this map. Um, in my playthrough, yes, I have lost both Bernadetta and Petra. But I recruited Lysithia post time skip, which I didn't even know I could do. So that was cool. Oh, if only Lysithia could get one space closer. Alas, she can't. Hubert can go for Maya. He can go for Death. I think we'll go with Maya. Cool. Cool. Well, you'd fit right in with Chara then, wouldn't you? Um, Yuritsa's in a little bit of trouble. I think I need to help him out, hey. Um. I don't know if there's any way I can help him out, though. Oh. Oh, the Ballista. 
from Eureta. Not Eureta, um, Eloise. I think coming here... These guys have Armored Blow, don't they? No? Axe Prowess, Axe Fair, and Weight minus 5. Okay, so they don't have Armored Blow. Meaning if I put Yuri here with the Armor Slayer, he'll be alright. Yep. I'll have Linhart go here. And honestly, I think Wind is just the best thing for him to try. Move up. Okay. Just running everyone a little bit closer. Mercedes doesn't actually have anyone in range to heal. Oh, okay, that, um, looks like that armor knight changed his mind. He is going for Yuritsa after all. That's okay. We'll see how this goes. 16 damage. Cool. Hey, level up and Reaper Knights level up. Oh, more defense. More defense is great. And more protection. Okay. Here come the Wyvern Lords. Oh, that's a gambit. Oh. Oh, I'm glad no one else was standing directly behind him. Oh, he doesn't quite kill with wind. Should have gone with fire. You didn't complete an Iron Man run 2 yet, right? No, I haven't. No, the last Iron Man run I attempted, I lost way back in Chapter 7 um, <laughs> with the Golden Deer because Ingrid just used Darting Blow on Byleth and one-rounded him. So I instantly lost. Um, no, if I do complete this, it'll be my first Iron Man run ever of any game. Okay. Yuri. Silver bow, please. It's crazy how much more damage the silver bow does than the iron bow. Because it triples the weapon's might. I need Yuri to get to Seteth. To try to steal his, um, Okane shield. Well, Lysithia can go here. And when she equips the Caduceus staff, she has a choice of two targets. Not quite strong enough. So I think she'll just take this guy out. More magic, more defense. Magic attack, avoid, and res. Okay. Time for Mercedes to heal Yuritsa. I'll just have Linhart take care of this fool. And then who should take out the Wyvern Lord? Ferdinand could do it. 
I need to get his lands rank up. He needs to learn Swift Strikes. The Killer Lands has a good chance. There we go. Alright, that's good. We'll have Caspar move up. Oh, well, let's have Edelgard just tank this hit. Even if it does hit her, it'll do barely any damage at all. And we can dance for Mercedes. Who can then physically heart? Oh, that works out. Right, now I think everyone is in... It's more or less in place. Oh, here are the rest. There's Flane. Okay, Gandalf. Oof. I really thought he'd miss, not gonna lie. So now we have to deal with these reinforcements. Alright, Yuri, go here, and I guess... I guess you can prepare... to attempt to steal from Sedeth, and if he can't steal... I mean, Sedeth, uh, Sedeth has 29 speed, but Yuri has 37 speed. There's no way he shouldn't be able to steal the lance unless it's the shield, sorry, unless it's like story locked. Which would suck if it is, because I'd really like that shield. It would go really well with Ferdinand. Okay. This is where I wish Mercedes had Fortify. I think first up, the most dangerous opponent to take care of is this uh, Pegasus Knight. And then she can play back out of range. And now no one's in range, and we wait for them to come to us. Yuritsu, just take a step back real quick. I didn't know there was a steel skill. Yeah, only thieves get it. And if you want to keep it outside of being a thief, you have to master thief. A lot of people don't worry about doing it, though. Because um, steel is only very situationally useful in this game. And particularly in a run like this, it's not worth spending so much time in the Thief class to master it. Why did she just go from 14 to 6? Did she get 8 heal XP from just healing once? Wow. Okay, there's Linhart. We just get group everyone up together. See, this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid of, like, Flane just spawning in with half a dozen reinforcements and immediately attacking us, which is what happens if you just march up here too quickly. The other thing I have to worry about, though, is that they might come for this spot. Hmm. Well, currently no one's in range of anything. The only thing it'd be in range of is that Assassin and Alois. Yeah, Alois can hit all the way down the downtown there. <sighs> I think Ferdinand. Ooh, yeah, let's not. Let's just end the turn. Flane's coming.
Okay, so I think that Peg Knight is actually going for the exit. If that is the case, then Edelgard needs to ruin this guy's life, and then retreat so that only Alois can hit her. Sweet. Level 35. Still didn't get strength. Right, so only Alois can shoot her, which is great, because she'll only take 20 damage, and he can't crit. 19 damage. Yeah, and he can't crit, so that's alright. Um, she doesn't have commander, so she could be impacted by a severe gambit. I wonder... Oh, that's a good gambit. Oh, okay, so we need to check now. He can't steal the Okane shield. Man. That's very unfortunate. Like, he has way more speed than Sedeth. He should be able to steal it, but it must just be locked to Sedeth's character. Which means I made him a thief and gave him a slight stat nerf for nothing. It could be worse. I think I'll just have him go he if I move Hubert first, or Linhart first. Linhart has this baller gambit. I think this is okay. So if we go... Oh! Oh, that's good. So all we need is one more person in range. Uh, Flysithia goes there, she'll get targeted by Alois and immediately killed, um, unless Dorothea saves her. So we should have his range highlighted at all times, really. I could get her out of danger using Dorothea to dance. I'm not a fan of that hit rate, though. Dark Spikes will do it, but it's only a 78% hit chance, and if she misses, then I just need to send someone else to deal with him. Ferdinand won't easily be able to retreat. This assassin is causing me a lot of trouble right now. And, like, he's, he can just run through terrain easy-peasy. Um, right, I think having Yuri do this is the play. Yep. In fact, he can just stay there. And we gambit, we lock those others in place. Make sure he has a really good evasive item equipped. Okay, it's gonna have to be, uh... Yeah, just fire. Okay. So, let's gambit. Okay, so those two are pinned in place. We don't have to worry about them. Thlane's not attacking anyone. They're going for seven. I don't really want anyone to take this assassin hit, though. It's my problem. It's 
Flames range is not that great. Ferdinand could go there, but this guy has 39 attack and 32 attack speed. Ferdinand will certainly get leveled and he will... It'll be hard for him to get killed. He does... Did I give him Swordbreaker? I did give him Swordbreaker. Honestly, I think this is the best thing for me to do. Uh, if he runs through there, he's not going to be able to run back into the thicket. Which means that Flane will be able to hit him and potentially kill him. Oh boy. If I strike with the Brave Lance, it's 34 times 2 at 90. Um... How much damage is Flane doing with a Braxis? 60. And he only has 13 res. That would be 47 damage. <sighs> Honestly, I think Edelgar is just better off tanking this guy. Right. So, we'll put Ferdinand here, that keeps Lysithia safe. Silverlands is good, he can wait there. I don't think anyone else is really in severe danger. So, not worth, yeah, no it wasn't, it really wasn't. Alright, so it looks like Alois has changed his mind. He's going for Linhart, which is kind of not good. But that's alright, because this is what we'll do. We'll Gambit with Absolute Defense. Give Linhart a better chance of survival. Now you may be thinking, shit, why would you put Lysithia in range like that? She's gonna die. No, she's not. She's gonna be fine. We will move her out of range, and that's actually really good. Mercedes, is there anyone you can heal? No, everyone's at full health. Just hold back. Yuritsa get into a better position, and I think we're good, as good as we can be. Here she comes. Ooh, that would've done a lot more damage. Even hit Yuri. Right, so this assassin is now going for Edelgard. I didn't expect her to hit, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's good that she did. I didn't expect her to. Ooh. Good. Good, good, good. Sweet. So, we have Flame. No, you are not doing 43 damage to Edelgard. I refuse to allow that. Now, she does have Miracle, so I think I'm going to need to strike with the Brave Axe. I gotta heal her first. Otherwise, she doesn't survive. And I'm, I'm accounting for the Miracle, which is exactly why I'm just gonna heal Edelgard now. Flane always gets Miracle whenever I try this. She has a super high luck stat. Well, usually she has a super high luck stat, but for some reason, even though... That's weird, it's only 12. If I had Flane at level 34, it'd probably be like 30. Yeah, Miracle, chance to survive lethal damage with 1 HP, which is why I healed Edelgard. So Edelgard will kill. Guaranteed, if she hits both hits. She may only need to hit one, she may not even see a counter, but I am accounting for the miracle.
All right. Yep. <laughs> you have the option to spare her if you attack her with the avatar. But, um, nah. Where would be the fun in that? We're the bad guys in this run, right? So I think we're pretty in the clear here. Oh, we still got that assassin to deal with. That's annoying. Um, if... Oh, if Ly... Right, if Lysithia can get there... No, we need to find a way to take out Alois. He's the biggest threat here. Um, if I don't send anyone after this assassin, he will go for the end goal. So I think... I'm going to dance for Edelgard. And I'm gonna have her take out that assassin. Now if we dismount here... She only has axes to hit this guy with, I'm a little bit upset. gonna be a weird war. Oh no, she has the assembly gambit. This has a good chance of hitting. And I dismounted her so she got the avoid bonus from the uh, thicket. Excellent. Oh, I mean she's still in thicket though, so that's fine. It's just not as good. Oh, the warrior can't move through the thicket. That's lucky. So now I think Ferdinand can actually go here with the hammer. It's a risky hit, though. Very risky. Well, Linhart has physic, though, so... Maybe it's not as risky as I think. Cool. Yes, Yuri with the Wodell. Uh, not with the Wodell. I'll use it later. Oh, he can run into the forest. That's helpful. <laughs> yes, we'll do this. We'll hit this guy with a hammer. And even if Ferdinand gets hit back, he can get healed by Linhard. Oh, he didn't get hit back though, so that's good. All the stats I want to see. Who are you going for? Linhart, 28. Yes, let's get Linhart out of there. We'll get Linhart to... Yeah, heal Yuri. Okay. Edelgard blocks the way. All the reinforcements have been taken care of. Flane is sleeping in a ditch. I think I want to move Lysithia where Hubert is. Cool. And 
Yuritsa with his 30 protection honestly isn't a bad shout for going after Eloise. Ooh, he changed his mind. I think it's because Linhart moved out of the way. <laughs> right. Who to hit? Uh, well, that's a kill, provided she hits both. That's less likely to be a kill, although she can always just keep smashing. I think this is better. <laughs> okay, so guess who's going to be MVP in this fight? Now, if I go here, unfortunately, Aloise will run towards her and just use the Axe of Zoltan. So, I need to stop him from doing that. She can get shot by the Onager, that's fine. Alright. If we go here, with the Silver Lance... He dies if he gets hit. So, I want him to be at full HP, and that's where Mercedes can work. Would Ferdy have died if he got hit earlier? Um, I don't think so. Like, if he was on less than full health, it certainly would have been sketch. There we go, so this guy only has an 8% chance to hit him now. I'm happy with this. Never mind, you got heal, yeah. Okay. So it's going to be either Ferdinand or Eloise who gets the killing blow. Sorry, Ferdinand or Yuritsa. I keep getting them mixed up for some reason. I could just zap him with Thunder to be a bit cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> right, so Eloise and this warrior here are the only ones left. And then it's basically we just take care of Sedith. Ooh. This one was so scary because I didn't know how it was going to go. I like that she has the dancers in the background wearing the same garb. Oh, just sure. Just get Healy XP. <laughs> oh, she's almost A rank. She's so close to getting Fortify. Oh no, Lin's woke. Your unit's very reliable from what I've seen. It's all a matter of knowing who to use against what. <laughs> we'll do good in the last fights. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. The last battle in particular. Holy shit. It's so bad. Now. Oh, she should be healed first. And I kind of want to give this kill to Ferdinand, to be honest. So I'll have Yuritsa hit this warrior. Um. Ooh. Oh, that's dangerous. I can heal him from long range, though. You're probably going to lose over half, lol. Yeah. Would not. Oh, the Brave Lance. 
if I can just do a little more damage to him. Yeah, now Ferdinand has support from Edelgard, so he'll be a bit more accurate. Does he have Vantage? No. Okay, so... This is just Alois going down now. Die believing what you want, man. Axe of Zoltan. Zoltan! Let's put the Killer Lance away. It did some good work. Um, yeah, about that. You have no troops left, Seteth. Everyone is dead. Alright, so I can... Have, oh, okay, so she's already getting support somewhat from Linhart. Hubert. That's a lot of damage. I think my asthma is just the most accurate spell he has. Well, that's not going to work. Ultimate insult. Oh, I can relax. Oh. And no one died. I knew it was going to be her. Without a doubt. Oh. TLDR Rayo is super pissed over the deaths of Flane and Sedeth, and Eloise and Shamir. Like, super pissed. More pissed than you ever see her in any other run. Oh, is that happening already? Saint Index Day is today. Oh, Bernie. Oh, two people I want getting faith. That's handy. Oh yeah, it was the door mistake. Hmm.
Yuritsa's birthday. Hey, let's have a tea party with Yuritsa to celebrate. Yeah, you can have the bergamot. <sighs> that fight took me over an hour. A strong battalion. The opera. See ya, good luck with the rest. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh, that was, it was definitely good to have someone to talk to during that, you know, chest tightening experience. So thank you, have a good night. That's okay. Oh, we got more charm though. That's good. Whew. Certification for the Emperor class. Okay, but does it have wings? No? Okay. Then I guess you're changing back to the Wyvern Lord. Let's see, is there anything that I can forge or repair? The Iron Axe needs help. The Training Lance needs help. Not really. I could do that. It seems a bit OP though. The Axe of Zoltan, you need A plus Professor Rank to forge the Axe of Zoltan. I think this is a good shout, but I'll wait until it gets a bit more damaged. Oh, I don't have enough smithing stones to repair anything, that's right. Well, I'll have to do it later. I don't think I wanted anyone else to do any certifications. Oh, that's right, except Ferdinand, but again, like, he needs to wait until he gets slightly better heavy armor rank. Dorothea could pass for Grimory, because then I think she'd get some extra stats on top of what she has now. Hmm. Could be worth... Even worth having her try to pass Mortal Savant. What's her sword rank? B. Oh. Alright, um... If we have Yuri as the sword master, this will give him sword fare. Oh, the assassin already has sword fair. Lock touch and stealth. Honestly, the sword master's not as good as assassin. Um. So I think I will just keep Yuri as an assassin. Speaking of, though, we gotta reclass him. Hmm. It's a real shame that he couldn't, um, steal the Arcane Shield from Sedeth. That would have been good. Okay. I guess we just explore. Or perhaps it would be better to explore next week. I th yeah, I think it'll be better to explore next week.
I could have Ferdinand attempt to go Great Knight. I need to buy a Master Seal. Hmm. 51% is not the best odds. Yeah, I think... Well, I look at everyone's goals, right? Okay, so if I do a seminar now, and I make sure that Yuri, Mercedes, and Linhart get in on it, sure. Yuri Mercedes Linhart. I think Marianne Seminar take care of that, yeah. So it was, yeah. As long as Yuri, Mercedes, and Linhart are in on it. Yuri, Mercedes, Linhart. Oh, hello, Scumbrain. Uh, usually we'd be playing Persona 5 right now, but Laura's a bit tired. Um, we might be able to do Persona 5 later this afternoon, but for now I'm doing my Iron Man of uh, Fire Emblem again. This is good. Fortify! Oh, that's so good. Right, let's instruct. Phew. Okay, we'll start with Edelgard and keep pushing her flight. I've just desperately been trying to get my elders to use their animations. Yeah. Has that not been going well, or...? Did anyone uh, help you in that thread that you put your request up in? Oh, nice. I did test something, I attached sound to one of the animations when in game the sound actually played. So the animations are playing, but the model isn't doing them. Oh, well that's, that sounds like progress. Sounds like you're getting there, but just haven't quite cracked it. I guess we just work on his bow. Okay, so we want Ferdinand doing heavy armor. And I guess we'll have Edelgard do heavy armor as well. I have a plan for the sounds in their animations. I want to just add psionic magic noise. Then I stumbled upon sound files from the final mission and cinematics. The elders will be having a voice. A, hey. That's pretty cool. Reason and authority. It's definitely good for him. Need to train that armor rank. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, we'll go reason and faith for you. Mercedes doesn't need to learn faith anymore. She can just go reason. This is good for Lesithia. Currently they already got lines like when the enemy misses firing at them, they'll say unfortunate yet expected. A hey, badass. I like it. Okay. Maybe answer. The only way to help them see is to educate them. See, Hubert's not a bad guy. He just wants people doing things the way Lady Edelgard suggests. Some mod devs respond when I ask for help on Discord. They didn't know what was going on. They said all the files like the archetype and stuff had nothing wrong with them. Hmm. That is very strange. I don't know how to help you with that. Yes! <laughs> Extra utility! Warp is amazing. Okay, now we explore. I mean, I'm pretty sure Ferdinand still only has like the same 52% chance to... Yeah, great knight, yeah. But I do need to reclass Edelgard back to uh, Wyvern Lord. Alright, explore. It's definitely the skeletal mesh that has something wrong with it, since the animations are present but the model isn't doing them. Oh, you mean the, like, extra glowiness and stuff around them? We'll go with Ferdinand. mean that with what? Huh? Oh, the with the elders' models, how they're all like glowy and they have their sort of ethereal extra sort of presence about them. They don't? Oh, oh okay, don't they? Fair enough then. I uh, must be just remembering how they are in XCOM 2. They're just tall grey dudes with four arms in red robes and a fancy helmet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm remembering how they are at the end of XCOM 2. I forget that you're talking about the XCOM 1 models. Yeah. Okay, let's increase the steam one more time. And there we go. The boys are nice and warmed up. Sweet. Greenhouse. They're really tall, like in-game, and they're even taller than Sparks, even taller than The Chosen. So what, they're like 10 feet tall, 12 feet tall or something. Spawnment by the berries. Miracle Bean. Okay. Uh, 
Sure. Oh my god, I'm running out of money. <laughs> just steal a fish, just casually. Yoink. Yoink. Oh. Oh no. We'll find it, whatever it is. Nope. Arcane crystal. Ooh. Ooh, that's perfect. I've needed an arcane crystal for so long. Yes. They're just a tiny bit, like a few centimeters taller than a sectopod without the extended legs. Oh shit. That is, even without the extended legs, like that's still heckin' tall. Okay, well here's the thing for the kid. Jar of sweets. Oh, <laughs> that definitely belongs to Yuritsa. Here, kid, I found your thing for Anna. No, not you, Anna. I want to give the girl the thing so that you don't know she lost it. Cool. So... This is just where we go to the dining hall and stuff everyone's face. And they get even taller when walking, because obviously their spindly legs don't walk, they just decide to float a few feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. Fuck legs, they're just for decoration. Musetes and Yuritsa. Oh, I want them to actually have a proper good meal together. Today's special, Ferdinand and Marianne. All right. All right, five more activity points to go. Edelgard, eat with Lysithia. Oh, I do have supports unlocked. Oh, and Marianne. Okay. The Mercedes with Yuritsa. Whew.
No, only I can do that. Woo, support level B. Alright, and on that happy note, let's see, who still hasn't eaten? Uh, I suppose I could just give Hubert a gift. Yeah, I'll just give Hubert a gift. I have Dorothea eat with Yuri. Linhart can eat with Caspar. I'll just give Hubert something that he likes. Although he only really likes board games, coffee beans. He's not really partial to anything uh, cheap. Once my elders get released, they'll be so badass to have, though. I got a unique way to balance them. Oh, cool. Let's hear it. Advanced Axe Tournament. Silver Axe Plus. I mean, Edelgard already has one of those, but I suppose Ferdinand could do with one. Yeah, he can't even wield the Axe of Zoltan right now. Oh, actually, no, Caspar could do with one. He could use the Axe of Zoltan. Hell yeah, and it basically gives him an inbuilt hammer, too. I like it. Advanced Axe Tournament. Definitely Edelgard. Or maybe Caspar, actually. Yeah. I'll make building them really cheap, like only 200 supplies, but there's some people say a snake in the grass. What, is it like where they do their own thing, or... Don't always listen to you, or... Something like that. If you build an elder, the Geoscape will have a warning of a living elder avatar plus three. Oh. <laughs> mm. Of course, Central saying Commander, the aliens continue to make progress. Yeah, you can't, you can't not have that. Nice job. Lots of money, Silver X Plus. Sounds like a fun penalty, right? Have a god tier psionic alien on your side, but Avatar instantly increases by three. Yeah, that, you wouldn't want to build that when you've only got three left, otherwise you just lose. <laughs> it does sound like it would be fun, though. I have to not run into Marianne. No, there is still that timer of 20 days. Oh, is there? I've never actually gotten the Avatar meter all the way up. I just thought you instantly lost if they filled the final block.
So yeah, I guess I still have some things about XCOM 2 to experience, even though I played it for a couple of hundred hours. Taking care of business. Oh, okay. Once you complete this quest, new merchant will appear in the marketplace. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have a silverfish. I also will make an uber ethereal, the eldest, that is basically an elder but stronger. Oh. Lots of fish out there today. Oh, interesting. The Uber Ethereal's ultimate risk and ultimate reward. It's really strong. Building it takes 30 days. Once it completes, Avatar instantly reaches the timer no matter how much progress was left to be filled. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like hella fun. Okay, so just be aware this is probably going to be like a really... Actually, no. I'm not going to do this on stream because it's super boring. Just me fishing and fishing and fishing. It's just... It's not fun to watch. It's not fun to do, so I might just do it after I end the stream. So, a look at the roster. Need to get the B rank brawling, okay. So, train with Caspar. Where is he? I suppose I could train with Yuritsa. Teach me to punch things really hard, please. Yes! Alright. Okay, I'll check the cathedral and I'll check the statue to see if I can do anything with that. I doubt it though. I don't think I've earned enough renown at this point. Oh, I have 2,100. 2,800, sorry. It is fair that for an alien that will instantly fill Avatar, right? I give 30 day build time just so it isn't game ending because you have those 30 days to prepare facilities to reduce the Avatar again. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, like, imagine building it when you only had four or five blocks and then suddenly you get like seven or eight blocks and shit. Like, yeah, that'd be wild. Okay, so I pretty much need like 2700 more renown to get this EXP plus 10. I don't think I'm going to get it though. Extra land skills is nice though. Um, one thing I'll have to note, yeah. There actually isn't anything to do with the rest of my day except fish. Hmm. Well, if that's all I have left to do with my day. Oh, Hubert. Right, right. I need to give Hubert a gift of some kind. He doesn't have a lost item at all. If I can even pull this off, you'd not want to build an uber ethereal during when the time is already running. I'm pretty sure if another block gets added through stuff like that while the time is counting down time, it just hits zero. Yeah. 
yeah, I, I feel like that sort of thing would happen as well. Which means the timer is essentially a lie. Because there could be, like, you could get the final block filled, the timer could start, and then, like, there might have already been an imminent facility construction about to happen, sort of thing. So that's fair. Um, I am actually just gonna end this stream here, though. Um may or may not be back this afternoon with Persona 5 with my girlfriend, it really depends on how she feels. But I'm going to take care of the fishing off screen, and then when I next resume this playthrough, I will be at the tutoring session, and then we'll be doing some battles. Okay. Um, my next XCOM 2 stream will probably be at night sometime during this coming week. So during the usual time, you would be awake at a reasonable hour. So we'll save this here. Save twice because I'm paranoid. Um, I hope you have a really good day, or sleep, whatever it is that you're about to have. And uh, I'll be here later, possibly. If not, then in a couple days. So, laters.